Hello, my name is David. I'm going to take you through a short movement stretch routine now. Quite a basic routine, but one that will leave the body feeling nice and loose. Moving stretch is a form of resistance stretching, which means we want to add resistance throughout the whole movement of the stretch. We do this by engaging the part of the body that we are stretching. For example, if I wanted to stretch the chest, I might say tense the muscles in the chest as we move through the stretch. If I say tense the muscles, say in the chest, I don't mean tense 100%. As you won't be able to move very well. I mean, about, I think about 50 to 70 percent. But I'll be demonstrating and talking through everything as we go. So, okay, let's get started. We're going to start off for a stretch for the forefront of the body. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put the feet just greater than hip distance apart and across the hands over one another, just in front of the hips, bend the knees slightly and lean forward slightly on the hips. Like so. Now, I'm going to engage the muscles in the front of the hips, the stomach, in the chest. And with the front of the body tense, I'm going to straighten the arms, move them back through that tension, open up the chest, keeping the arms straight, pushing the hips forward to stretch the full front of the body. And then relax back down again. So from the side, again, hands in front of the hips. Push the hips back slightly, lean forward a little bit. Before we start stretching, tense the full front of the body. And then with that tension on, move the arms back, we move through with that tension. Opening up the arms, keep the arms straight, open the chest, push the hips forward to stretch the full front of the body. And then relax and bring the hands down. And again, hands from the hips, lean forward slightly. Engage the forefront of the body. Keep the muscles in the front of the body engaged the whole time as we're stretching. Open up the arms, keep the arms straight, pushing the hips forward. And then relax back down. Okay. And again. Engage the muscles in the front of the body. And then start the stretch. You're stretching for the full movement, so what nice, slow movements. To get a deeper stretch, relax the arms down. So we're going to do it again, but this time we're going to add a stretch coming back down as well. So so we do this by engaging the back muscles. So once we reach this part, I'm going to engage all the muscles down the back of your body, down the back, down the backs of the legs, and then with the back muscles engaged, I bring the arms forward through that resistance. Hug the arms down, I lean forward from the hips slightly, pull everything in as if I'm hugging, say, a giant beach ball or hug something that you really like, maybe a giant avocado or something like that. And then, I don't know why I thought avocado, it's the first thing that came into my head there. Okay, so we'll go through that. So the start of it's the same, hands in front of the hips, front of the hips, front of the stomach, front of the chest. I think it's because I'm hungry, that's why I thought an avocado. So anyway, keep the muscles in the front of the body engaged. Front of the body is being stretched now, arms straight, push the hips forward. Now I'll start tensing the muscles on the back of the body. As the arms come back down, hug in. Run in the back slowly, and then relax. Do two more. Tense the front of the body, arms come back straight. Make sure you're breathing. Tense the back of the body, arms come down, and lean forward slightly. One more. That's it, good. A little shake around. So I bring the feet hip distance apart, we're going to stretch into the hips now. So I'm bending at the knees. So I'm going to end up in like a Tai Chi squat. So I don't want to be sitting back, I want to be bent at the knees, knees come forward. And chest upright. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move from side to side, keeping the hips level the whole time, but I want to add resistance. So when I move across, say to the right, I'm going to press the right foot firmly down to engage the muscles down this part of the body. So I move across to stretch. Now I'm going to press this foot firmly down, Engage your muscles down this part of the body as I move across. 
So engage the muscles down this part of the body as I move that way. Engage the muscles on this part of the body. This one's quite a tricky one, so don't worry if you can't quite get it straight away. So it's from side to side. Now we're going to change direction slightly. So I'm going to start to move forward at an angle that way and come back the opposite way. So I'm going to avoid rotating the twist and the hip should face forward the whole time. I'm still going to stay upright. I'm just going to move forward into an angle. And then sit back in the opposite direction. And when I'm moving forward that way, I'm going to press this foot down. So I've got resistance in the front of the hip. And then I press this foot down to sit back. That's it good. Other side, so forward that way. Again, try not to rotate from the hips. Keep the hips facing forward. forward. I'll push the hips forward, I'm going to engage the muscles in the front of the hips, push them forward, engage the muscles around the back, stay upright, and just sit back. One more. Now I'm going to take the feet right apart now. I'm going to fold forward. So I'm going to stretch down the backs of the legs this time. So I'm just going to press the feet down and in. So the hands come down, the feet press down and in. Then the feet pressing down and in actively to engage the backs of the legs. I start to walk the hands forward. And then walk the hands back. Again, press the feet down and in actively. When you press the feet down and in, you should already feel maybe the backs of the legs and the backs of the insides of the legs as well. Activated. Keep that resistance on the whole time. The legs should feel active through the whole stretch. Walk the hands forward. Then walk the hands. And again, make sure you're breathing. Feet pressing down and in. And then walk the hands back. So a couple of variations you can do with this one. As the hands walk back, you can keep them walking them back so they come past behind the legs. Or you can walk them back and then place them underneath the feet. Press the toes down into the hands as you lean back slightly and then start walking the hands forward. Again, feet pressed down and in. Hands walk back in. And I walk the hands really right through the legs. Keep them walking back. Walk the hands forward. Walk the hands in. Place the hands underneath the toes. Press the toes down. Lean back slightly. And then, that's it good. And then go up to stand. Good. Get the legs a bit of a shake around. Then we're going to come down for a last stretch for the backs of the legs. So for this one, I'm going to come sort of into a lunge position to start with. So this back knee is underneath the hip. I'm going to walk the front foot forward so the ankle is, is in front of the knee. I'm going to come up into the heel, so lift the toes up and the bottom of the foot. Bend into the front leg. I'm going to stay upright. I'm just going to press that front heel down and back. So it's sort of this sort of direction. So before I start moving, that heel presses down and back. With that heel pressing down and back, I then start to straighten that front leg and sit back. And then relax and come back. So again, before I move, foot presses down that direction. Try and stay fairly upright as I sit back, straightening the front leg. 
and then up again. Try to make sure the hips face forward. Tendency, I've got a bit of tendency trying to rotate the hips sometimes, so I've got to think about it and keep the hips facing forward the whole time. The body will try and do little compensations to avoid post where it actually needs to stretch. So I really need to concentrate to keep the hips level on this one. And don't worry if you can't straighten the leg, just go about as far as you can comfortably without resistance on. You might keep that foot pressing down and back as you sit back. We'll do one more on this side. Good. And then we'll change sides. So for this one, I find often I feel this more in the calf. So I get quite tight coughs. But it is for the whole back of the leg. So we'll start off, knee underneath the hip, ankle, heel, front of the knee, bend the front leg, the foot comes up, press the heel down and back, as I sit back to straighten the leg. And again. This is definitely my tighter side, you might feel one size tighter than the other. This is definitely the tighter side for me. Make sure you're breathing. I often find it helps to exhale during the stretch, but what else feels more natural for you? Keep that heel pressing down and back. Just sit back. Do one more. So it goes, and then come back to the centre. So I'm going to come to sit with our legs crossed. So for this one, I like to sit with my legs crossed, but then move the feet a little further forward. So rather than sitting with the feet coming in, I move the feet forward slightly. Cross the calves over each other. And the movement for this one is just to fall forward, but we want to add some resistance to it. So. I'm going to place the hands on the side of the knees, sit up straight. Now to add resistance, because we want to stretch down the outsides of the legs, I'm going to press the feet down into the ground, and I'm going to press the, the knees down into the hands. So the hands can also pull up against the legs just to get more resistance on. So as the knees press down into the hands, the feet press down into the ground, slowly fall forward. And then relax and come back. And then again. The knees pressed down, the hands pull up, so with that resistance on there. Knees pressing forcefully down, feet pressing forcefully down, into the ground the whole time I'm forward and forward. And relax well. You might need a cushion to go underneath your feet here, because it can't be a bit sore pressing the uh, sides of the feet down into the ground. And we can just cross the legs over so the other leg comes over on top. Do a few more. Again, I'm pressing the knees down the whole tail forward and forward. We'll do one more. Give the legs a bit of a shake around. So now I'm going to stretch into the front of the thigh, into the hips. So there's two variations for this one, so I'll show you them both. So the first one, you can imagine, say, you're at the start of a race. We've got the back leg lifted, both feet facing forward, so it's important that our front foot is facing forward. Hands on the ground, so at the start line of a race, 
Now we'll be stretching this part of the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tense the muscles down this thigh and hip. To do that, I'm going to press that back foot down and forward. So press it down, so in this sort of direction. So already before I move, I can feel something going on around here with that foot pressing down and forward. Then I start to bend more into that front leg. Lift the chest, I can look up. And then relax and come back. Again, press that front foot down and forward quite actively. I really want to feel that tension on that part of the body as I'm moving forward. The chest and up. Now, if that feels good for you, you can keep on doing that one. That's the variation that I like. There's also a variation with the knee down. So this one I've got the knee underneath the hip, and underneath the knee. And I took the pelvis under and I pressed the back knee down and forward and just sort of move forward in this lunge position. Keeping the back knee pressing down and forward. It's tempting to relax so you can come fill a forward like this. But we're just sinking in the hip there. We're not really doing anything there if we're sinking into the hip. I'm going to keep that tension on and move through it, pressing the knee forward and back. Forward, down and forward, sorry. And then relax back. So let's do a couple more with your variation, whatever you choose. And I knee up, or I knee down. And I'm going to change sides. So I'll start with the knee down this time. Again, you can go and knee up, choose your variation. Pelvis tucks under, knee presses down and forward in that sort of direction. Keep the knee pressing down and forward so there's some tension on that front hip as I move forward. Again, it's tempting to relax your hands, sink down, but it's not really doing much. Put a stretch there. Do a couple with the back leg lifted. Remember to keep that back foot facing forward. Chest and the head towards the end of the movement, keeping the back foot pressing down and forward. Make sure you're breathing throughout the stretch. Is it good? And then just come back to the middle. So now we're going to stretch it to the inside of the leg now, head of the thigh. So we're coming up the hands and knees to start with. Now I'm going to take one leg out to the side. Now we're going to engage the muscles on the inner thigh. So to do that, I'm going to press the bottom part of the inside foot down into the mat and in. So it's pressing down and in back towards my other leg. Straight away as I press the foot down and in, I can feel the muscles on the inside of the thigh engaging. And then with, with that resistance on, I'll sit back towards the heel. And then relax and come back. Can I press that foot down and in? Sit back. If you want to add a slightly, more, slightly deeper stretch to this, as you sit back you can sort of twist the torso away in that direction. But the important thing is you've got that foot pressing down and in as you stretch. Good, we'll do one more. And we'll change sides. So yeah, I've got the sole of the foot on the mat. I'm pressing down, I'm pressing in, and I'm sit back. Again, you might find one side feels tighter than the other. 
and add a twist as you sit back as well. Just the torso away from the leg. Keeping that resistance on through the whole stretch. Make sure you're breathing. Do a couple more before pressing down and in. One more. Good, and then come back to the center. Now, if you come to sit how that's comfortable for you, you can sit like so, sit on the toes, the legs crossed. You can stretch into the chest and the arms now. So I'm going to take my hands, my back of my head. I'm not going to push the hands against the head, the hands are just there for a little bit of support. Bring the elbows in. And what I'm going to tense the chest as I bring the elbows open to stretch the chest. Keep the chest tense, open the elbows, and relax back. And what I like to do with the hands here is the hands are clasped together, they're not pushing against the head. I'm going to start to sort of peel the hands apart, they're not going to come apart. But they're going to have that resistance on if they are going to come apart. By doing that, that helps to engage the muscles in the chest as well. So hands around the back of the head, elbows in. The hands are sort of trying to pull apart from each other, even though they can't get apart. Chest is tense as the arms open and relax and come back to the stop. Back to the start. So from behind, so the hands are starting to try and pull apart from each other, the chest is tense, elbows open, back to the left. Tense the chest as the elbows open. Keep it, keep it straight ahead. Hands are trying to pull apart, so they're not pressing in the back of the head, they're just supporting the head slightly. One more. And then take the arms down, give the arms a bit of a shake around. And come sit with the legs bent, feet about hip distance apart from the ground. So we're going to stretch on the top of the back, this one. And to do that, we're going to Place the hands on the opposite knee, arms crossed over by each other. And the movement is to open up the legs, which will then in turn pull the arms round, which will then in turn stretch the top of the back. But to add resistance to that, we want to pull the hands in against the knees the whole time. So before I start moving, the hands are already pulling in against the knees. With the hands actively pulling in the whole time, the knees start to open. Keep the hands pulling in. Then as the arms are being pulled around, the top of the back is then getting stretched. And then relax back to the start. So this may be one way you don't feel anything until right at the very end and you can feel the top of the back come around and it will stretch. So my favourite ones. Pull the hands in. Keep the hands pulling in the whole time. Hands are still pulling in. And then I start to feel the stretch. And yeah, keep keeping the hands pulling in. And then relax back to the start. We take a nice big inhale before I start, and as I exhale, as the hands come out. Cross the whole arm on top now. Hands pull in. And two more. Really keep the hands pulling in, make sure you're breathing. And one more. And bring the legs up, give the arms to move around, give the head a bit of a move around. And then we'll come back, plant our hands and knees. 
So we're going to get stretch, stretch down the outside of the arm now. So I'm going to take one arm through, behind the other arm, outside of the hand presses down. So a couple of things to note here, this arm stays straight the whole time, and the hand stays where it is the whole time. I'm going to press this hand down and in, so sort of this sort of direction. So before I move, this hand presses forcefully into the ground, and then I bend the support arm, sitting down towards the heels. And then come up again, and again. In fact, I think it's better if we don't sit back towards the heels, if you just place the hand into the ground, bend the support arm, and just start the lower down. And up. Keeping this arm straight, trying to lower straight down, bend the support arm, pressing the outside of the hand. And then chain six. So this hand is pressing down and in. Keep it pressing down and in. I bend the support and arm. That's lower straight down. Make sure you're breathing. You feel that resistance is on for a full stretch. And then back to hands and knees. So we're going to stretch into the chest now. So I'm going to take on over the side. Almost pretty much straight. Now this hand it's going to press down and in, so down in that sort of direction. Keep the hand pressing down and in as I start to twist the torso in the opposite direction, bending the support and arm. And then relax and come up. So this hand's pressing down in this direction the whole time. Keep it pressing down the whole time to add that resistance to the movement, bend the support and arm, twist the torso away. And the last part. Again, before I start moving, hands pressing down and in. So I already feel the muscles in the chest and in our arm engaging. And I keep them engaged through the whole stretch. Make sure you breathe through the stretch again. I like to exhale during the stretch, but you do what feels natural to you. Do one more on this side. That's good. You can come back to sit. You can have a little move around with the arms. You can compare the arms. See if one arm is slightly longer than the other now. It might be, it might not be. And then we'll come do it on the other side. On the other side, keep the arms straight. Keep this hand pressing down and in the whole time in this sort of direction. As you twist the torso. Make sure you breathe, make sure this hand is pressing down and in the whole time to engage the muscles down inside the arm, the chest, moving through that tension. Do one more on that side. And just give the arms a little move around. Look at the length of the arms, good. And then we'll come up to stand. So now we're going to stretch down the side of the body. On the feet hip distance apart, I'm going to place my hand on my hip, arm 
overhead, palm facing straight ahead. So just in case you can't really see that, I'm the palm facing straight ahead. Now I'm going to grab hold of the top of the wrist with the other hand. So again, it'd be easy better to come down this way. So hand to the top of the wrist. And then I'm going to press this foot down into the ground. I'm going to have this top arm pushing, trying to push up, but the other hand stopping it pushing up. So this arm is trying to push up, this hand's on top stopping it from pressing up. This foot presses down. Same on the same side pushes up as the other arm stops it to add resistance down that side of the body. And then come back. Good. So this foot presses forcefully down. I'm engaging the muscles down this part of the body. This hand is trying to push up towards the ceiling, the palm facing straight ahead. This hand is preventing it from pushing up. And make sure you breathe. So by trying to lift this arm up and this arm stopping it, it's just really engaging the muscles down on this part, this side of the body. Two more on this side. So one more, with this foot pressing down. And then back to the start. This time, I'm going to press this foot down, this arm overhead, again, palms facing straight ahead, arm comes on top, and this arm trying to push it up is this hand's pressing down as I move. So this foot presses down as I move up and over. And then relax back in and Make sure you breathe through the stretch. Make sure you've got that tension with top arm trying to press up against the other hand the whole time. Two more on this side. This foot's pressing down. This hand's trying to push up towards the ceiling. The other arm is preventing it from doing so. But by doing that, I'm engaging. The whole side of the body. Last one. And then relax the arms down, that's it, good. So one more to finish up, we're going to repeat the stretch we did at the very start. You can just see if there's any difference that you feel now from the start um, of the session. There might be, there might not be. But it's, just, it's nice, it's quite nice to um, finish with the same stretch that we started with. So feet. Just create the hip distance apart, a little bend in the knees, lean forward from the hips slightly, hands in front of the hips, engage the full front of the body, hands come up straight, push hips forward, chest forward, tense the back of the body as the arms come back down the same path, bend forward from the hips slightly, and then engage the front of the body. Arms come up, engage the back of the body, and pull from the hips slightly as you hold the arms in. Tense the front of the body, hips come forward, arms come back, chest comes forward, tense the back of the body, arms come forward. Just push back. And then just shake it out a little bit. And that's it, that's your session done. So thanks a lot for doing that. Hopefully you've um, felt the benefit of that. There's a lot more information about resistance stretching, about moving stretch on the moving stretch website. And um, there's loads of more stretches you can do. That was just a little, little, um, indoor session, if you will. Um, if you want to, um, learn more about it, loads more on the website. My details are on there. Um, where we can go through stretching deeper parts of the body 
by adding different variations to it if you wish. Feel free to get in touch, any questions, and thanks for watching.